Who knows about Brexit? Yeah, quite. Uh, no one's got a f***ing clue what Brexit mm. is, yeah? You watch Question Time, it's comedy. Well, you know clearer when Jeremy Corbyn no, explains No, I got Labour's a clue. Policy. No one knows what it is. It's like this mad riddle that no one knows mm. what it is, right? Mm. So what's happened to that David Cameron, oh. who called it on. <laughs> Let's be fair. Oh. I think what? you're referring no, to no, our no, former no, Prime no. Minister. Yeah, but why the, how comes he can scuttle off? He called all this on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. He, he has no regrets. Where's he, where is he? He's in Europe, in Nice, with his trotters <laughs> up. Yeah? Where is the geezer? I think he should be held accountable. for it. You know what? He should be held you know accountable. for it. It's a valid point. A lot of people do feel that all politicians, all politicians on Brexit have basically conspired to be incompetent at best and downright reckless at worst. And the country is now heading towards a perilous cliff and no one really knows what's going to happen when we fall off it. Well, the government that's supposed to be negotiating spends its time negotiating with itself. Quite right. That is the biggest problem. Did you, did you vote leave? I voted to remain. You did? Yes. Unequivocally? Absolutely. Is your heart really in the... I went into the polling station, I put my... But you've never really wanted to be in the European Union, have you? I've had criticisms of it, and my whole point in the campaign was that I did have criticisms, mm. I wanted reforms, I thought there was a danger of the thing becoming too free market orientated, and that's what I said during the referendum, but I did say we should remain in it. The vote went the other way.